Hello fellow Guardians, Boltzilla Plays here bringing you another Destiny video. It is Wednesday, September 21st. We all know what Wednesday is. It is Arms Day. This is also the first Arms Day for Rise of Iron. So the first thing you'll notice is now the guns from Foundry Orders are 320 intact instead of 280. Not very helpful if you're already playing Rise of Iron and everything, but if you're a new character, it, it can help to start getting you up. Regardless, this is a good way to get legendary marks, so. First up for this week, he has the Geharis D Hand Cannon, Tier 1, he has Quick Draw IS, or Sure Shot IS, Army of 1, Spray and Play, Snapshot, Explosive Rounds, or Reinforced Barrel. Tier 2, Quick Draw IS, or Steady Hand IS, Triple Tap, Who's Next, Snapshot, Explosive Rounds, or Small Bore. Tier 3, True Sight IS, or Sure Shot IS, Triple Tap, Spray and Play, Snapshot, High Caliber Rounds, or Reinforced Barrel. This is the one you're going to want to go with. So it's got Sure Shot IS, which is like the best for hand cannons. Triple tap, more of a PvE perk, so this is leaning more towards using in PvE, but it can still be viable in PvP to a degree. Spray and play, so as soon as it's empty, you have a chance to reload faster. And then it's got reinforced barrel, which is like the primary thing you're looking for at hand cannons. Up that range, lose a little bit of stability. But you want to get that range up into that right where it's showing there. On pretty much all hand cannons otherwise you're gonna have issues like hitting a lot of stuff with the way bloom is working good. next up we have the kumakatak hc4 hand cannon tier one has fast draw is quick draw is or true sight is zen moment snapshot a rifled barrel life support or Danger Close. Tier 2, Faster IS, Steady Hand IS, True Sight IS, Zen Moment, Quick Draw, or Braced Frame, Icarus, or Danger Close. And Tier 3, Faster IS, Quick Draw IS, or Sure Shot IS, Grenadier, Quick Draw, or Braced Frame, Icarus, or Eye of the Storm. None of them are really good, so if you're able to hang on to this, I would say hang on to this and wait for something. If one of these had, like, Rifle or Reinforced Barrel, it'd, it'd be more worth picking up, just because Icarus is very helpful in a hand cannon, since you do some jumping and shooting with a hand cannon. If you gotta get something this week, probably Tier 1 is your best bet, just because... It's got rifle barrel, so you get that range back out of it. It's the only one that's got a range buff. But yeah, definitely if you got the space and the time, hang on to it until next week. Next up is the Tamir D sniper rifle. Tier 1 has ATA Scout or ATD Raptor. Unflinching. Spray and play. Explosive rounds. Snapshot. Or pendant mag. Tier 2 is ATB Long Range or ATD Raptor. Take a knee. Who's next? Explosive Rounds, Snapshot, or Injection Mold. Tier 3 is ATB Long Range, ATD Raptor, Rodeo, Spray and Play, Explosive Rounds, Armor Piercing Rounds, or a Pendant Mag. Tier 1 is the way to go with this one. So you got the ATA Scout, which is your low zoom sniper scope. You got Unflinching, which isn't nearly as good as it used to be with the way they've updated Flinch. But still is okay to the degree. It's got Spray and Play, so when your mag is empty, it reloads faster. And then I would say probably go with the Pendant Mag, so you get more in the magazine.
Next up we have the Oif Rao D sniper rifle, tier one. Has the ATA scout, ATD Raptor. Take a knee. Who's next? Explosive rounds, snapshot, or a pendant mag. Tier two. ATA scout or ATD Raptor. Take a knee. Who's next? High caliber rounds, armor piercing rounds, or braced frame. Tier 3, ATA Scout, or ATD Raptor, unflinching, spray and play, high caliber rounds, snapshot, or braced frame. The third one here is your best bet. You got the low zoom scope, you got unflinching, which helps to somewhat of a degree, spray and play, so anytime the mag's empty, reload faster, and you can have brace frame to max that stability out really well so you can literally just pop them off one after another without having to readjust at all last up we have the Azumi R4 sniper rifle tier 1 has Corvo SS2 or Falcon SS1 triple tap lightweight or casket mag clown cartridge or mulligan Tier 2, Corvo SS2 or Aquila SS4, Army of One, Lightweight or Oiled Frame, Life Support or Eye of the Storm. And Tier 3, Condor SS2 or Aquila SS4, Triple Tap, Single Point Sling or Rifled Barrel, Clown Cartridge or Shoot to Loot. Tier 1 is going to be your best bet on this one. So you've got the Falcon SS1, which is your low zoom scope. you got triple tap. You can run casket mag to up the magazine size. And then you can run clown cartridge. So when you do have to reload, there's a chance at a larger than normal magazine. So I'm not sure if this uh, casket mag, I believe, makes it 6 in the mag. Clown cartridge, 7, maybe 8 in the mag. Which is crazy on a sniper. It's a, though it is a low impact sniper, but having at least even just seven in the mag plus triple tap, you are getting a lot of shots off before you have to worry about reloading as long as you're hitting headshots. So this is more of a PVE type thing. Field test weapons for this week. We have the Hockey Test A Auto Rifle, which is used against Fallen. You have the Hockey Test A Pulse Rifle, which is used in the Crucible. Hockey Test A Sniper Rifle, used against Cabal, Centurions. You have the Amelon Test RR1 Sniper Rifle, used in Crucible. And the Amelon Test RR1 Sniper Rifle, used against Fallen Captains. Crucible ones, I'd say get into some private matches. It should be pretty easy screwing around private matches to take care of them. So trying to get them done with randoms in regular Crucible. Uh, fallen and Fallen Captains, go to the Moth Yards on regular Cosmic Drone Patrol. There's three spots that the Fallen Captains can spawn in that area, and while you're going between those spots, any other Fallen just kill with the auto rifle. And then the Cabal Centurions, I'd say head to Mars Patrol. The zone right to the left, there's typically at least one or two guaranteed Cabal Centurions floating around that you can skip back and forth from. It shouldn't be too bad. And foundry orders this week. We have the Suros DIS-43. Which is a scout rifle. We have the Amelon Thesian FR-4 Fusion Rifle. The Hake Le Demilia D Pulse Rifle, the Soros PDX-41 Pulse Rifle, and the Soros JLB-42 Rocket Launcher. DIS-43 is a really good one to grab. The Thesian, if you're into fusion rifles at all, is a really good one to grab. And the rest of them are just kind of up in the air. The PDX-41 isn't bad. It's like the Nerwin's Mercy type archetype. So it's not Hawksaw type. 
that's what mainly everyone uses, or grass, malic type, that's what everyone uses. But still decent. If you need a rocket, definitely go for this. This is, this is a pretty good rocket if you don't have a really good rocket. And if it gets the right purple on it, it could be really, really good. But yeah, for sure, grab the DIS-43, and then if you're into fusions at all, grab the Thesian for sure. And the rest of them are up to you. So that was Banshee's stock for September 21st, Arms Day. Um, other than that, just one note, I would really recommend, even if you, you typically don't do field test weapons, go ahead and start doing them really quick. Because every time you rank up your gunsmith, he gives you a package with a gun in it, and they do drop at higher light. So it's another means of working your way up to max light now that new DLC is out and the max light has been upped. Other than that, make sure you like, comment, share if you found this video helpful. You can check out my other videos at youtube.com slash c slash plays, and you can check me out streaming from time to time over at twitch.tv slash plays. Till next time, Guardians, take it easy.